Hey Ubers, how you doing? Well I'm here by myself for a month Ubers, boo hoo, look I'm even turning into a hairy man. <laughs> Eric's away uh, doing a course for a month, well he's coming home on weekends but yeah I'm here by myself for a week at a time. Um, so yeah so that's pretty interesting. Um, I don't mind it though because I'm not a needy person, I'm not like you know, a lot of people always need to have people around or that need that constant attention. Um, I've never been one of those people. I've always been the type of person where I can just go without, I don't know, weeks without even uh, talking to people. I just, <laughs> I just get lost in my own little world and, you know, doing a bit of art or I'm out in the garden or, I don't know, on the internet surfing or something. But I don't need to feel like I need to connect with people on a daily basis, like I know a lot of people do. Um, you know, there's a few groups around uh, that I'm, I guess I'm involved with that feel the need to be like always constantly in contact every day. And I mean, that's that's all fair and good, but I think maybe it's a maybe it's a woman thing. <laughs> I don't know. Now, don't get, don't, I don't want any, I don't want any hate mail because this is not a sexist thing. But I just think I seem to think that women like to come together more in a group and there seems to be more of a connection with groups of women that I've come across because I deal mainly with women who come to my site, there's a majority of women um, and you know a lot of them like to get in their little groups and and etc and I don't know if that thing, that same thing works for guys really because I haven't really come across guys just setting up a group just to be just to do the guy chat thing, you know, like on a daily basis. I just, I just don't think that we're programmed as men to do that. Um, so, you know, I guess in a way that's probably the reason why I don't feel so uh, needy to be constantly always having to connect with people on a daily basis. But also being that artist thing where, you know, I like to have my own space. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty much of a loner. I'm pretty solitary. I do like. I'm happy with my own company. I don't need anybody else to make me feel validated or worthy or any of that other crap. But yeah, it's interesting. Do you reckon that's, you know, how it works? Men are less, um, have that less of a desire or need to feel like they need to be a part of a group and doing stuff. Um, it's just, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, but anyway, Where's all this leading to? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what have I been doing? Well, um, I have been doing uh, quite a bit of art this week, actually. I've um, got my two courses running at the moment, Altered Books and Altered Boxes. And um, uh, they're going really well. Some of the results that are starting to come out of the class are fantastic. So I'm really happy that people seem to be inspired and motivated. Um, uh, that's always a good thing <laughs> and um, some of the results are, yeah like I said are, are really really great and um, I guess that's the best fun the fun thing about teaching for me is um, seeing what people can create with ideas that I give them um, and um, you know the critiques that I give them and seeing how that really helps them to you know improve and grow and that's I guess that's what the whole the whole point is but yeah, so those co those two courses are, are going to be ending at the end of this month, so still, you know, three weeks away. Uh, I've then got, um, I'm actually starting a new course at the beginning of um, next month. Um, it's called Plexified. So it's working with plexiglass, it's um, learning how to layer with it, creating, uh, I'm going to show you three different projects going to be doing like, um, so for example, let me just show you a little demo, I'm going to, going to do like a little um, plexiglass wall hanging, um, we're going to be creating like uh, a plexiglass artwork on board, we're learning to work with layers, and then we're going to be doing, um, which I haven't finished yet because I'm still working on it, is a three-sided plexiglass tower, uh, which is probably the most challenging piece, but um, it's going to look fantastic when it's done. So yeah, I'm working on that. Um, and um, I've been doing a couple of little artworks myself. I just um, I made this new little work on board. Um, just lots of layering and 
crap and shit. <laughs> Quite like those colours. But I'm out of um, overhead transparency paper and a few other things, so I need to go shop. Need to go shopping. But anyway, um, so yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about was um, uh, a challenge that I'm in with uh, another Aussie artist. His name's Bill Flowers, and he's called the Snake Artist. Anyway, he contacted me uh, quite a while ago, actually, asking if I wanted to do like a, a friendly competition uh, art challenge with him. Um, sort of like we set each other challenges and we've got a certain period of time to create the artwork in there. Well, that's pretty much sort of come to fruition now. And um, so um, basically what's going to happen is um, he said I could go first and I could pick a theme. So I guess the next video that I make, or I'll, you'll see which video it is, it'll be um, my challenge piece. And I basically will be given eight hours to create an artwork then we're going to post it for you guys to give it a thumbs up if you love it um, and you can vote on his or mine and the one with the most votes obviously wins now I've got a lot more subscribers than he does so um, how it's going to work out I don't know but he's a great artist so he shouldn't really have much competition um, in, well I guess well of course he's going to have competition because I'm involved but um, I think just because he doesn't have the same amount of subscribers to me doesn't make him any any anything less um, of an artist, if you know what I mean. There's, I hate that whole, how many subscribers have you got crap. It's just, yeah, it does, I wish we didn't even have to have it. Um, because it sets people on, you know, oh, they're, they're, they're so popular. It's like that thing at school, you know, Mr. Popularity, he's got more friends. You know what I mean? Um, but he is a fantastic artist, Bill. I've loved his stuff and I follow him on YouTube and um, I'll put the links down below. And um, so we're going to have a challenge and it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, we're going to be doing it for a while, well, until we get sick of it. And um, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens. But the first challenge that I've set um, is basically... Um, uh, what, do, what was it called? The, Auss the Aussie landscape. So I guess that <laughs> he didn't particularly like it, but he thought, you know, well, we've got to do things we don't particularly like. So, you know, um, <laughs> I said that one just because it is um, something that I both knew would be, it'd be comfortable to do and it's in our zone. So I think I thought I'd start, we'd start out easy and then we'll start to bring in some interesting challenges to some weird stuff and see what happens but yeah anyway i'm gonna shut up now because i gotta go it's time to milk the cows but um um i'm gonna be creating some more little plexiglass artworks and um hopefully um yeah that's about it um a lot of stuff happening around the farm um i'm doing lots as well um so, you know, that's taking up a bit of time. But I hope you're all well. Thank you for the comments on my last videos and the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, like no end. Um, it really makes me feel like my, my videos are um, having an impact when you guys give me that thumbs up. So, you know, if you like my videos, don't forget to thumbs up because, you know, that helps improve the searches in YouTube as well. You know, if I, the more thumbs up I get, the the higher my videos will sit, and the better rated my videos will be. So, if you really like my video, then please thumbs it up and thumb it up. <laughs> anyway, shut up. I'm not promoting myself anymore. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Later.